Okay guys, so our fridge sounded like it was on the brink. I'm like, it was making airplane noises in here and stuff. And, and it was two years old and we're like, no. <laughs> and you know, I thought it was going out. And so I was listening to where the noise was coming from. It was coming from right back here where it says twin cooling. So, and that is your fan. So your fan is bouncing off ice. In this video, we are going to show you how we how fix it. ice it was bouncing off of. And how we fix it. So we're going to go through um, fixing and, and, de and get rid of the ice. And then we're going to show you uh, ways to clean the drainage system to make sure that it's drained properly so you don't have the humidity buildup because it's humidity that forms the ice. And if it's not drained and off then... we live in Florida. And you may not have that problem up there in the north where I come from, but down here in the south, yeah, you're going to have that problem. And we'll also show you uh, the, how I do a force defrost on the fridge. You can also do a force defrost on the freezer or the whole thing. But we're just going to show the fridge at this point. Well, our freezer had food in it. Yes, and we luckily. We couldn't defrost it. <laughs> yeah, we just wanted to do one at a time. So y'all stay tuned and we'll get into this. Wiping the cheap. Yeah, you just sweat on everything. The whole floor over here. I can't step back in here. Okay, we didn't have to move the exhaust. We didn't have to jack up. We didn't have to do anything. Look at that. <laughs> okay, so my big scrape about this uh, Samsung refrigerator is it's loud but recently has been extremely loud because it's freaking froze over. So that stopped and I think the whole fan is now frozen so it won't move anymore. So noise gone, fridge not working. Let's open it up, see what it looks like. 71 degrees, nice and toasty. So to get at these refrigeration coils on the refrigerator part of this uh, fridge freezer combo, I'm going to have to have this uh, impact, or you can use a Phillips head screwdriver, and a small screwdriver to get rid of the ice, a heat gun, or a hair dryer, or just let it sit out and defrost for a while. So we're going to try to speed this up because food around here needs to be cooled. Okay, so. The first thing you want to do is you want to put this into force defrost to free up some of the ice so it actually comes apart for you. To do this, you're going to hold down power freeze and fridge about 8 seconds and it'll beep. And now you're just going to hit the uh, fridge until you see RD, that's refrigerator defrost. Now, it will beep the whole time it's in rear defrost, which was about driving Danielle insane. But I think it's defrosted enough because I've already been doing this. It will turn off after about 10, 15, 20 minutes, varying on how much ice is back there. It does have a sensor, but we're gonna turn it off. So you hold it for eight seconds, freezer, Power freeze and freezer, or fridge, power freeze and fridge, and then we're gonna suck, circle back to a blank screen. And there we go, back to normal, no beeping. Okay, so as you see, everything is out minus this. The rest of the stuff is pretty easy to take out, so that's just your normal adjusting uh, shelves. But here on this, you have these two clips right down here on the bottom, one on this side, and the same on the other side. 
and you're going to push that in and lift it up and that just slides out so now it's time for the fun stuff right stick out these three Phillips head screws and then under here that's why you need that little screwdriver there is another Phillips head screw right there I'm going to use this impact and I'm going to much faster up one and this whole piece slides out be sure when you're putting this back in it has an arrow that shows which side is the top so when you're putting back in that side goes to the top now for the fun part getting this out so you have to be very gentle and there are clips Right here, they have the arrows that show where the clips are on both sides. But when you're pulling this out, you pull these to make sure them clips come out. And then you're gonna have wires on the back of this. So be careful not to pull the wires too hard. You see the wires there? So you can unclip these wires, but uh, I'm just gonna leave this in here because I'm not taking it out. Now I'm going to get my heat gun, try to get rid of some of this ice. Now you'll see the heater is working fine because all the ice is gone. But also back here on my fan, it's gone as well. So as you can now see, I've got all the ice gone and Everything seems to be working fine. I'll show you how we uh, test the fan. To turn turn the fridge like the doors closed, you just put a magnet to, right here. And then it basically comes on. So to put this all back together, you just want to take and push this back in top first and make sure all your holes line up you'll have holes right here on either side and then you'll have to get these clips in make sure they're good and tight and then you'll put your screws back in Now, remember when installing this, the arrow goes up. So put your arrow up. And these are the long screws that go here. There's only four screws. Now you don't have to over torque these. I have my torque wrench set on the lowest setting. Now I'm not really torquing down on it. Then you put these bottom screws in. And then these clips go up towards the top. This clips in like this. Then we'll take and put this guy in. And push that back. And it just slams in there. Okay, it's the next day, so let's see how this looks. So we got 37 degrees. And yeah. We don't have any food, but it's uh 
really less foggy. Now that is humidity. So humidity is the big problem with these fridges and them freezing up. Wow, I got facial hair all over the place here. So to defrost your fridge, you're gonna have to get to the back of this sucker. So I'm gonna have to pull this sucker out and why do engineers do this? They make everything really hard to maintain. So, and with the fridge pulled out, you'll see that I have it pulled out plenty of room to access these screws that go across here. We're gonna take them out and I'm gonna unplug the unit, but I'm gonna clean up all that mess I have there because uh, I don't wanna sit in that. So now I've got everything unplugged and I got the uh, floor all cleaned up in there so I can sit. I may dust the edge too once I bring in the shop vac to further clean the fridge and the floor. Okay, so as I said, you have a screw here, 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 and back here. So I'm gonna pop these out real quick. And of course, I'm gonna get more dust. And with them out of the way, I can simply just remove that. You'll see down here I have, here's your compressor, your fan that blows through your uh, condenser. And then these are the tubes that you have to pull out, which that one wasn't even connected. To clean. Now that I'm over at my sink, you'll see that one, it actually comes off and it has this little thing. So we'll just put some water through that and it is dripping, but we'll go ahead and clean it. And then the hose itself is pretty hollow, so we don't have to worry about that one. Now this guy right here is uh, draining just fine, but he's just draining into a pan on the bottom of the unit. Okay, so now that we have these cleaned up, make sure you put these on the right way. But we have one, this one goes over here, so it goes in that drip pan and then it pushes Oh, this is the one that wasn't on and it's still in the drip pan there's water in the drip pan and then the second one goes over here so again push these on really good Make sure they're in the hole in the bottom. That side's the only one that has a hole in the bottom for it. And there we go. And your condenser pushes off enough heat, I guess it evaporates it, adds humidity to your house. Well, while I'm back here, I'm gonna vacuum this out. So now that I got everything cleaned up, this cleaned up pretty nicely down here. I, I made sure to clean the fan blades too. I'm ready to put this thing back together. So as you can see, this looks a lot clearer than it did before. And uh, I moved the fridge out more so we could see better in here. Okay, so now it's time to put this on. So you have these little catches and you have to get them on these, these little points right here. So. 
Okay. Yeah, one there, one there, and one there. And that will hold itself in place. And now, you put your screws on in. So now that you have the drains uh, cleaned, and of course you've uh, de-iced your system if needed, we want this to further prevent icing. And a big thing you have to do, and I neglect it, that's probably why I'm suffering through this right now, is you have to clean the seals on your fridge. Around the seal, you look for any dirt or anything like that and you want to get that cleaned off. And I'm just using a damp sponge all the way around and don't forget to get the bottom on this. Now on your freezer, if you see any ice build up anywhere like here, that means you have a seal issue. So I have some ice right there. I'm gonna clean the seal and hopefully that clears the issue. I hear air sucking. So, and you want to hear air sucking. So when you pull on the door again, you've got a tight seal. So if you're, if you pull on your door and it opens easily, you need to clean them seals. Okay guys, so hopefully this helped you fix your defrosting issue. And uh, hopefully your fridge is running just like ours. It sounds like the day we bought it. Kind of loud. Hopefully you don't get annoyed by the beep, beep, beep through the video because literally I sat there for an hour doing work. <laughs> yes. I almost went crazy. The whole time you're running the defrost, the force defrost, it's going to beep. Yes. So, oh my goodness. And I ran, get ready. I ran it a couple of times because you have to do that if you want to get that back panel off and ice is in the way. Mm -hmm. So if you did that enough or you just defrosted your fridge and left it off for a while, you probably wouldn't have that. But we have food, so we had to expedite the issue. Now we'll yeah, quickly. We'll have as much food in our fridge as we do our freezer. So being able to just force defrost the top. A great option, and that's something I like about this. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, we have to fill the fridge back up. But luckily, it was at the end of the the food cycle when this happened. Yeah, maybe that was the issue. <laughs> we didn't have enough food in there, so it decided to like ice over. Maybe we had it too cold, and there was like nothing in there. I ate too much food. Go out and check her recipes, so you can eat too much food just like me, because she makes the most delicious recipes. You can eat too much recipes. of our food though, that's the thing. It's, you yeah. can eat too much of it and it's still not gonna give you a lot of calories, but they have to be good. They have to be good. And flavorful. <laughs> but y'all go check them out at chrisdoeswhat.com or diningandwithdanielle.com. Takes you to the same place. And also, if this video was helpful for you, go ahead and give us a like down there. It looks like this. I did this in like the right, a comment? Yeah, I did this in the right order. Did it help you? If you like Was our channel, <laughs> if you like our channel, go ahead and subscribe. It's also down there. It has a little bell for that ad reminder. And we do different things. We do. We All do. kinds of things. So yes. it's not just like fridge stuff or whatever. So and our channel's in flux. So a lot of changes coming this year. But uh, yeah, stay tuned. <laughs> stay tuned for that. And if uh, you want to give us feedback, leave a comment. Comments help, and it's free. And we do answer. Yes, we do. We do. We do. We, we're not one of those ones that just leave it to the dogs. <laughs> well, nice comments we answer. Mm, I think it's both. Both, yeah. Yeah. 
But well, we're nice people, so we don't <laughs> answer mean. <laughs> I know some of you all out there. <laughs> Not our audience. Y'all are all nice people. And y'all, y'all please take care. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> the bridge video.